Hey everyone, let's quickly learn how to download Wikipedia onto our local computer using QX or QEX. I don't know the proper pronunciation, but if you do, let me know below. So the website you go to is QEX.org. Find the link in the description or you can Google for it. Under the downloads menu options, we're going to go to all apps. You have a few options here to download. I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows, but you also have the option to run it on Android. I think a lot of people recommend doing the direct APK and running it yourself. There's also options for iOS and Mac OS, as well as Linux, and as well as being able to run a QX server on Raspberry Pi and the other operating systems. So to download this, you just click on download here, and this will download a zip file, which you can extract and put anywhere, basically, on a hard drive, on a flash drive, and it's portable. All right, that downloaded onto my downloads folder. I moved it into another hard drive called uh, my J drive, my Jupyter drive, into a folder called Wiki, and it's a zip file. So I'll extract it. You can use 7-zip or any extractor you'd like. I'm using just the basic Windows one because everyone should have that who's following this on a Windows machine. And it'll take a couple of seconds. And now I have this folder here. It says QX Desktop. And inside here we have a qx.exe file, which is going to be right here, qx dash desktop dot exe. So we're going to click on this and open it up. And once this opens up, before we look at any of this here, I want to make sure that you go to the menu options on the top right hand side. It's the three dots and click on settings and then change the download directory to where you want to put your information. Otherwise, it'll put it in this. This is the default directory at the app data roaming QX. So if your boot hard drive doesn't have enough space this is this is where you make you'd want to change this and change it to somewhere else say click on browse and then you can navigate to where you want to save it so once you're in this window you want to make sure you're on online files on the left hand side here when you have downloaded things they'll be in the local files here but now we just want to download wikipedia so we can filter through here so you know i can do uh, i don't need to do language but for category there's a wikipedia category so you can do wikipedia category and starts filtering you can see that there's, there's a ton of wikipedia articles and you can keep 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 the content type whatever it is and we want to download all of wikipedia and the best way to find the find all of Wikipedia, the 100 gig version is to just click on size twice, which will sort it, which will sort it by size in descending order. So 102.34 for gigabyte. This has pretty much everything else that we see in English. The What you want to do is you want to click on download. It'll start downloading depending on your computer speed. It can take a little while. So it is 102 gigabytes. You want to make sure your hard drive has the space for it. And it can take a little while for this to start initializing. So and while that's downloading, let me tell you about some of the other ones. So they're not all in English. So this one is English. This is probably, oh, this one doesn't have any of the media, so it's just all text. So since this one says content type is pictures, it has some media. Uh, I believe this does not have any videos uh, because the full Wikipedia size is like 50 terabytes or something. Um, there are also some like in other languages. So you can filter by, let's say, English. If I can type. And you can see a lot of other options here as well. So like movies by Wikipedia isn't really about movies. It's about articles on movies. So if, you, if you're really into football, a.k.a. soccer in the United States, you can download just the soccer for football articles here. And these just get smaller and smaller just because it's, it's a truncated version of them. Uh, but this top one here, the 102 gigs, should have everything in every other uh, file here. So this one should be everything. And once this is done downloading, we'll take a look at what the content looks like. One troubleshooting tip I can give you is if you realize that this hasn't moved in a while, it's like it's stuck on either zero or nothing is showing up here, is that you right click here and you click on delete book. Now, since this is downloading now, I don't have the delete book option, but you'll have it if it's just stuck. And that'll kind of reset things. And you may have to restart QX, but uh, once I did that, it started downloading. You can see it's downloading quite fast. I'm about halfway done. Should be done pretty soon. All right, so after a while, that completed. So 102.34 gigabytes. And if I look at my ZIM folder here, you can see that there is a 102 gigabyte ZIM file here. And now if we go back to QX, if I go to my local files, uh, also online files, it'll be here, but a local file, so it'll only have the things you downloaded. And you can actually click on open, and it'll open in a new tab. We have our Wikipedia here. Pretty cool, right?
and we can click through some of this like let's say we do computer science and look at that there are images here that we can look at history of computing like all of the, all of this should be here and we can search for stuff here as well so we can do uh like astro not me It can take a little while to search, uh, depending on the speed uh, that it reads. I have it on a slow hard drive. If I move it to like an SSD, it'll be a lot faster. But you can see that a lot of what we need is already here, including all the references. So like this will take you to an external site. So that opened it in a new tab on my browser. But you know it's all here, and and then going up, you can you, you can browse through this. Uh, from one article to another so pretty cool if you go back to the home directory here go back to online files it's not just wikipedia that you can download so since i have this like i should have all these other ones too in english so i can close this and look at other types of data that i can download if we sort by size like this one the survivor library has uh, is, is the biggest one at 232 gigs there's also khan academy which should be really interesting because it has videos and pictures um, should be good for uh, teaching kids crash course TED technology there's just a lot of lot of information here that you can download through through QX without having to figure out torrenting without having to go anywhere else really really nice source of backing up things like Wikipedia just just for the future just in case you know you never know what can happen yeah if anyone has any questions feel free to ask Another thing you can do is go to download.qx.com slash zim and you'll find all of their zim files here. Uh, so this is now I'm in the Wikipedia place. There's a, a couple of versions of this. So it was last backed up January 2024. So that's where our data is. So it, this needs to be refreshed. Uh, hopefully it will soon and then you can re-download this. But you can go back to the parent directory and pretty much have everything that we see in QX as well, including like dev docs and there's just a lot, lot of stuff you can look through here. So just to back up.